going to put through a system for uh, rendering message models on a uh, wider basis. Uh, I work in the Serious Board in the group of developing uh, Sardinia. Uh, wider devices uh, languages are becoming more and more uh, powerful and uh, also extended in a, in a massive way. Uh, also, the computing and the graphics power is uh, providing the opportunity to uh, uh, perform many things that uh, were apparently not uh, easy to uh, show to in the application and so on. Uh, there are more than 4 billion of uh, uh, mobile phones uh, subscriptions, uh, half of them uh, with internet uh, access. So there is plenty of space to uh, develop uh, sharing applications, uh, in particular uh, cultural heritage or uh, cultural tourism are uh, one of uh, some of the sectors that are becoming a uh, benefit from uh, this uh, expansion. Um, the, the current information of technologies uh, that are available uh, provide the opportunity to uh, uh, read the public with uh, applications in order to uh, uh, document or uh, uh, prepare the visit of a uh, museum, for instance. The previous uh, and the post visit, which uh, are held uh, before and after the visit to the actual museum, uh, can be uh, somehow extended and uh, enforced with the uh, applications that provide the, the, the users and visitors to uh, access information and they, uh, they visit to the museums and uh, uh, take notes and uh, after the visit they review the, the comments or whatever they have uh, find interesting in, uh, in the visit. For the visit itself, uh, it's uh, a question of immersion. People want to look at the, at the real artifacts, so uh, uh, there are um, actually three presentations using high-end uh, high fitness space systems and so, but it's hard to, uh, to uh, give the user the, the experience with, uh, with a big or, uh, or a really impressive uh, artifact like the, the David statue can, uh, can give. So here you can see a small brief uh, video of uh, the application. see um, a statue which uh, consists on uh, 75 million uh, polygons which has been uh, acquired at uh, one quarter or, uh, or millimeter and um, um, has added color uh, with uh, post restoration uh, information from the statues. Uh, we have added to this, uh, I'm sorry for the uh, problems, I should have uh, cast it. Uh, there exist lots of uh, solutions uh, for uh, message model rendering on uh, desktop systems. Uh, the, the most effective uh, solutions have uh, been demonstrated on uh, using uh, pre-computed batches of uh, geometry, which uh, reduce the per primitive uh, work, and so uh, the, the rendering is much more uh, efficient. Uh, this kind of um, approaches has been demonstrated on mobile devices uh, before, both for uh, Image-based uh, rendering using uh, isometric patches or a point-based rendering or uh, general triangle meshes. Uh, in our case, we uh, use a general uh, multiple resolution structure, which is based on a tetrahedral spatial partition, uh, which has been specifically tailored for mobile devices. In the context of uh, interactive exploration, uh, the most used approach is uh, virtual trackball uh, variations. Uh, um, which uh, decompose the motion in uh, panning, zooming, and uh, rotations. Um, but uh, this, uh, uh, when, when the user has uh, a free camera, in order to explore a, a complex model, it uh, can easily get lost in space. In order to solve that, uh, many solutions have been proposed, like uh, choosing the, the people manually, but uh, this requires uh, precise pitch uh, uh, selection in the screen. Uh, or constant navigation, which uh, ensures that the camera is always looking uh, to the model. For instance, enforcing the, the, viewing, uh, the, view, uh, the view of the camera to always be aligned with the normal of the, of the model in the center of the screen. So uh, the camera never gets out of the model and the user never gets lost. Uh, another approach for solving this, uh, 
problem of uh, precise uh, selection has been presented by Decker at uh, Hatchet, which is based on uh, gestures, so strokes. In, instead of uh, requiring a precise interaction, user uh, simply uh, performs gestures which are relative and uh, the, it's, uh, provides a more natural way of interacting with uh, these small devices. Also, some uh, works have been presented by uh, recently, which uh, use uh, an automatic uh, pivot, uh, like the one by Tindari and uh, Raposo, which uh, um, required uh, access to the web buffer, which is not available uh, always in mobile devices. To overcome all these uh, problems, we have uh, opted for a solution which is uh, automatic uh, pivot centering. So the, the pivot is choose uh, after every interaction in order to, to provide the user with a natural pivot to uh, interact with, uh, with the model without having to uh, require a precise uh, selection. <coughs> there is also an image assisted navigation component uh, for uh, which uh, very, a variety of uh, solutions uh, have been also proposed, like uh, images linked to, uh, to the viewpoints, uh, like in the Microsoft Photosynth, where uh, the user uh, navigates through a screen. And the uh, images are uh, positioned in the, in the real world uh, position in order to give uh, some context to the, to the user. Uh, also, hotspots have been used, uh, which uh, provide the user with information or, uh, or about uh, interesting regions uh, just to navigate there. Uh, in, in any of these solutions, uh, image clustering uh, or some uh, type of clustering of these uh, images is required in order to provide the user with uh, relevant information. That is, uh, a set of relevant views that uh, are uh, interesting to, to approach from the current day. This uh, distance uh, mission uh, can be of uh, different uh, ways. For instance, it could be based on a, on a mix of time and space or uh, a projected uh, impact distance. We have uh, implemented our uh, mission of uh, similarity uh, based on uh, projected distance in order to determine the views which are more close to the, the current one. So here is an overview of the system. Uh, the two components are uh, the ones uh, seen here. Uh, the multi-resolution framework, which is based on a detailed hierarchy uh, subdivision. Uh, the interaction method, which is based on the automatic tending uh, method. And uh, an image uh, system exploration uh, component, which proposes the user with a uh, set of interesting uh, flow. So about the multi-resolution, as told uh, many times, uh, we deal with models which are uh, of uh, unbounded complexity, ideally, and uh, they have to be explored on uh, systems which have uh, a fixed set of uh, resources. Uh, so we need um, output sensitive techniques, uh, assuring that uh, the data on the screen is less than the data which is uh, available in the model. And so uh, we have to, uh, our objective is to find the, small, uh, the smallest working set which uh, takes uh, the information stored in the server and uh, provides uh, an accurate representation in the screen which uh, satisfies all the constraints. Imagine that you have in, in storage <coughs> gigabytes or terabytes of information. You have the view parameters of the camera which determine the viewing region and uh, a screen which uh, could be, for instance, one million of pixels. That uh, would mean that uh, at, uh, at most you should need uh, one uh, triangle per pixel, so one million of uh, triangles. Typically, it's uh, three pixels per triangle, so it's uh, more or less uh, simple. Uh, so, uh, the, for uh, for building the material, the material solution, we have uh, two parts. One is the pre-processing, where uh, this information is prepared, uh, computed, and so we have uh, some kind of uh, graph or tree which contains the, the data. The input uh, model, the, all these triangles, are uh, distributed in, in, in the nodes of the tree. Uh, where the leaves will have uh, the, the full model uh, spread in, into pieces, and the inner nodes contain uh, simplified versions of the children geometry uh, contained in, in the children nodes. <coughs> the compression and um, simplification, taking into account the visibility properties, and so is all done is, uh, in this uh, preprocessing step. At one time, we need uh, adaptive uh, visualization methods which uh, depend on, on the view. So uh, the, the, set of, the minimum set of nodes which are required for uh, visualizing the model from the current view are um, selected and uh, just the, the geometry contained in these nodes is, uh, is visualized. So in the end we have that uh, for really close views, 
we have a, a very deep uh, selection of the nodes, but for uh, further uh, use, we have a, a quite uh, selection of the nodes. So quieter, but uh, more closer, or deeper, but with uh, much more fine uh, resolution. In this case, we have uh, used uh, the approach by adaptive theta puzzles, uh, extended in, uh, in the past year, where uh, the geometry is split against the tetrahedra in, um, in the associated with the nodes, uh, which allows us to um, <coughs> quantize the, the vertices using the bisectic coordinates. So the vertices are determined by the four um, by the, by the corners of uh, the tetrahedra, and uh, this provides uh, very small uh, distortion. Uh, we have also a compatible representation that allows us to have a real, relatively big uh, amount of, of uh, nodes in cache, and um, we have also further compression for the streaming of the data. The interaction method is based on a virtual trackball, so a uh, rotation, scale, and translation conversions. Uh, uh, we map to the uh, touch gestures into thin transformations, and uh, we don't require a persistent uh, for uh, the interaction. Uh, how we include this uh, pivot for the rotations and so on? We perform a stochastic sampling of uh, the part, this of the visible part of the, of the surface by extracting um, something, a set of points which are then uh, weighted and averaged uh, by filtering with a, a Gaussian filter centered in the 0, 0 for the x, y, and on the, on the z, it's centered in the, in the near plane. So when we apply this function that you can see on my right, um, the average provides a, a point which is more or less centered in the, in the model and in the center of the screen, but always closer to the, to the user position. Here you can see an, a representation of what will be the, the pivot, which in this case uh, would be in the nearer part of, uh, of the model and uh, centered more or less in, in the model also. <coughs> In order to provide an efficient extraction of the point sets, we exploit the, the model resolution uh, structure. So, uh, from every node that is in this one, we extract a small set of points. In, in global, this provides a unit for something of the model. So, the interaction method performs as, as uh, you can here. After any interaction, uh, when, the, when the user stops interacting, uh, there is no touches. Uh, we compute the closest, uh, the closest views uh, in order to provide uh, this uh, selection of, uh, of uh, target views to the, to the user. And uh, this event computation is only kind of, uh, computed after the scale is translated or the go-to in order to maintain always a stable uh, pivot for the rotation, which otherwise becomes uh, unnatural. So we have mapped one feature back to uh, rotations, two finger drag to uh, panic, uh, pinching a uh, statistical uh, for uh, zooming and the uh, image peak uh, for the go-to animation. Uh, the image assisted exploration is uh, context-based. Uh, the, the information, the, the views are not automatically created. It's, it's a manual uh, authoring uh, process. In the client, we have a candidate tree which contains uh, the whole set of uh, candidate views, but just the matrices. And the server contains all the extra data. In this case, mainly the views associated. Uh, at uh, a view in, uh, in the viewing time, uh, the, the, the views that are closer to the current viewpoint are uh, selected and uh, shown to the user. For that, we use uh, image space uh, distance sorting, which consists on taking a, a sampling uh, of the points uh, of, the, of the visible surface and uh, project every point both from the current view and from the target view. Then for each pair of points, which are the same point but projected uh, from, the, from the various uh, views, we perform a pairwise uh, distance uh, computation. And in the end, we sort this, uh, these views uh, on this uh, similarity mission, which we have defined. After that, we have that uh, we extract the n views from the KD3 with a process neighbors uh, algorithm. And after that, we refine this selection, uh, providing just a very small uh, set of views, which is an another n number of views, which are selected by the, the most closest in, in this similarity function. We have performed a user evaluation, a informal user evaluation of, uh, of the application uh, with various methods. We have compared uh, this automatic center pivot 
uh, with a fixed pivot tracking <coughs> and with manual uh, pivot selection, which uh, requires in this case a uh, precise uh, selection. <coughs> the analysis showed that um, many complicated pivots were not uh, easily reached with uh, with the fixed pivot, so people just assisted. <coughs> this is kind of frustrating. Uh, with the manual pivot, due to the extra motions or, or actions and the, the precise pointing required, the user has to switch um, from uh, picking, selecting uh, the pivot and rotating, moving and so on, so it's kind of more cumbersome. Um, with the automatic selected pivot, uh, it's uh, typically seen that the user uh, naturally goes to the, to the position by using the gestures, which we are more or less uh, habituated nowadays. So you can see also the, the timings. There was one is obviously the, the fixed pivot because it's not practical for reaching all the views, and we are uh, pretty much uh, below the, the two approaches. <coughs> okay, so uh, some uh, numbers. We have um, tested the, the application with a variety of, uh, of devices. So to put it again. Uh, And so uh, we have uh, we have various screen sizes and uh, resolutions ranging from one to uh, four megapixels depending on the device. Uh, below you can see that we have used Nexus 4, Nexus 5, Tegra 3, and Tegra 4 devices just to, uh, to cover a wide range of uh, hardware. Uh, the performance on uh, the graphics part it goes from 10 to 25 uh, millions of triangles per second with simple uh, pixel lining. Uh, the one of the things that was harder for uh, improving was the heterogeneity of the Wi-Fi the wi performance, which is almost double from uh, one device to the other. And uh, for um, for uh, a global view, which is uh, where you see the whole of the statue, uh, we need uh, about 10 seconds to get the full resolution. And for a closer view, like an MPL, uh, uh, with uh, 50 or 60 seconds, uh, you can get a um, closed tail uh, view with full resolution. That is about 60 megabytes of information. So, to conclude, um, we have presented a message model rendering system for neutral air touch on mobile devices, uh, which provides real time interaction for exploring these mobile uh, basic models. We have presented a simple and effective user method, as we have been seen, sorry, uh, which is uh, based on simple uh, drag and pin gestures uh, and based on this automatic centering uh, report. Uh, we also include a context-based image-based uh, assisted exploration, which uses this similarity distance in order to provide the user with uh, the close views uh, selection. And uh, for the future work, we are uh, extending this uh, image-based exploration with uh, narrative uh, components. <coughs> so, that's all. Thank you. Cases, uh, which is creative, innovative, and prospective. 
are there differences in requirements or constraints that uh, should be addressed uh, in the system? For the practitioner, the whole system mainly is uh, just a um, kind of annotation system where the user can be knows about the web. It is unique in the application for instance. Or uh, in order to take notes or make some code spots for uh, different planning. So in the end, it's more or less like just providing code spots or tags or some kind of notes of the model, which can be then uh, or in the visit, or in the visit, we just go over to um, what was brought. Uh, or uh, later in the visit, just look at some of the information that we want to go into. So the requirements of the prior before visit is to be same. For the visit, it's mainly immersion. So we have to provide that uh, space in order to. With, uh, this our uh, sensation to previous cases. Other questions? So just maybe one last thing. Uh, what about other domains? Uh, possibly the uh, same uh, solutions to the uh, other domains and other uh, domains. Have you uh, I think it's, it's pretty much general. Uh, in, in this case, we have used the uh, stage version of uh, the individual data as arguments, but you can uh, think of them, for instance, on uh, for a uh, monotic that you are trying to send or whatever. It's, it's kind of uh, so it's, it, it, with some adaptations, it should be practical to uh, try to apply uh, the So, no regrets, no more questions? So, thank you.